newsworthy glory. The new, a glory that will make news. Praise the Lord. I said praise God. Reputable glory. Spectacular glory. Glory that will cause people passing by to, you know, Bible says when Moses saw that glory that day, he turned aside. The Bible says he said to himself, I will now turn aside and see what is happening. That's the kind of glory that would decorate your life. Uh, don't be angry. People will turn you into a project. That's, they will be studying you. Okay, I think they call it case... Uh, case studies yes this year god will turn the somebody's story into a case study i i didn't hear your amen and let me say this before i forget to you know i i i i i asked three secretly in my in my heart one of these days i said god you are talking so much about wealth this year like never before so I said, but who are you going to use? Is it all, all this, uh, all of us young, young people in this? He said, yes, they are the ones I will use. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said, praise God. So I told Bishop of something. I said, oh, it's, all, it's all these children he will use. Am I communicating? Will, so are you, get, are you ready? Are you ready for splendor? Are you ready for majesty? Uh, say, say, God, bring it on. I'm ready. Hallelujah. All right, so what just to remind ourselves again what are or what is the import or what are the things that the year being a year of reputable glory signify it will be a year of good things psalm 84 verse 11 we have seen it quickly psalm 84 just to remind us before we move on to some other things. For the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. And by reason of the oppression of his grace and his glory, Bible says no good thing will be withheld. Uh, so this year no good thing will be withheld from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say I receive it. It's a year that Good things, everything you consider good. So, Lord, so Lord, so long as it's um, it's in God's plan for your life, get ready. It's coming this year. In the name of Jesus, it takes glory to raise the dead. From John chapter eleven, verse four, where we studied last week, Jesus said, "Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory?" So it was the glory that was at work that day. Am I communicating? See it again in Romans chapter 6 verse 4. The implication of this is that everything dead in and around you, get ready this year, they are coming to life. I didn't hear your amen. Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by what? By the glory of the Father. God's glory is raising the dead this year. He's raising dead situations. Dead circumstances. Dead businesses. Dead careers. Only a few are receiving it. In the name of Jesus. Listen, nothing is permitted to remain dead around you this year. Because the glory of God will be heavily at work. Don't forget, notable glory. Portable glory, spectacular glory, tangible glory, obvious glory. Praise the Lord. Newsworthy glory. When that glory appeared to or visited Moses that day, his dream that was dead for 40 years was resurrected. Are you still here? 40 years earlier, Moses had been dreaming of being used by God to, 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 um, um, Deliver the people from bondage. But he had buried. That dream had been buried under the sands of the wilderness for 40 years. When that glory appeared, that dream was resurrected. Somebody's dream is resurrected, resurrecting this year. I'm not hearing your amen. Somebody say, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. 
take half a minute and prophesy to anything that may be dead around you. Say, resurrect by the glory of God. Go ahead, resurrect, resurrect by the glory of God. I can't hear you prophesying. In the name of Jesus, we command every dead situation, dead dreams, dead aspirations, dead marriages, dead, dead organs, dead parts of the body. In the name of Jesus, by the glory of God, be resurrected. Be resurrected in the name of Jesus. What else will the glory accomplish? The glory will set you apart. Exodus chapter 29 verse 3. Exodus 29 verse 3. Get ready to be distinguished this year. Hallelujah. Verse 20, 43, sorry, not verse 3. Exodus 29 verse 43. Glory to Jesus. And there I will meet with the children of Israel. And the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. Hallelujah. No room for besetting sins this year. No room for addictions that keep dragging you down this year. Every addiction to, to alcoholism or to drugs or to prostitution or to any besetting sins, the glory of the Lord Jehovah will swallow them this year. I didn't hear your amen. I said God's glory will swallow them this year. In the, all of a sudden, you just find out that you can walk in holiness freely. All of a sudden, you'll find out that the things, sins you have been struggling with, iniquities that you used to struggle with, you do them no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say, I receive it. And as he will set you apart in holiness, you will also be distinguished in life. I, I, am I communicating? Literally, the glory of the Lord will set you upon a pedestal this year. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I'm receiving it. I'm receiving it. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. When the glory is in operation, miracles happen. Numbers 14, verse 22. So it will be a year of must. Bishop Son, thank you for reminding us of that covenant we have with God. Okay? Let's not forget it. When no matter one testimony, even testimony of uh, praise God, praise God, that you know it got so bad in Eston Church, we didn't have testimony, so we used to, you know, wind the people to come and share testimony. Like uh, somebody will sh uh, share a message for like five minutes before one testimony comes out in those days, and the testimony will be praise God, praise God. One day it was, I slept yesterday and I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> you know the kind of testimony that you come to give to encourage the man of God. Don't give up. Praise the Lord. So God said, no matter if it is I slept yesterday and I woke up, start dancing after every testimony. So we started dancing. And now we have massive testimonies. There's no testimony anywhere they will share now that I will open my mind. Ah! What kind of God is he is in this house? Because the same levels of testimonies are shared here. Am I, so get ready for testimonies. Numbers 14, 11. Because all these men who have seen my glory and the signs. New King James says, Old King James says, and the miracles which I have done in Egypt. The people who have seen my glory and my miracles, my glory, my miracles, my glory, my miracles, my glory, my miracles, the glory of the Lord, your 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 miracles, financial miracles, corporate uh, promotion miracles, provision miracles, protection miracles, miracles of great sparing. In the name of the Lord Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. What else is an implication of glory? It means it's your turn to shine. Hallelujah. This year you are going to shine. Arise and shine. Why? For the glory of the Lord is come. 
Let's see that scripture. Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is come. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Okay? Arise, shine, for your light is come, sorry, and the glory of the Lord is what? Risen upon you. So because the glory is risen upon you this year, you will shine. You will shine in your career. Shine in your business. Let's see verse 3. You are going to shine in your family. As the father is shining, the mother will be shining. And then the children will be shining along. Glory to God. Your shine will even affect your neighbors. He said you will so much shine, the Gentiles will come to your light. And not only the peasants of the Gentiles, even the, their kings will be arrested. The attention of their kings will be arrested by the rising or the brightness of your rising. Are you still here? Are you still here? Somebody says it's my turn to shine. Isaiah verse 14 and 15, same chapter. Verse 14 and 15. There's somebody here, you have been despised. People have looked not only on you before now. People have uh, discounted you. They have discountenanced you. They have thought that uh, uh, nothing good can come out of your life. Get ready. Somebody say, I'm ready. Amen. Say it again, I'm ready. Amen. Bible says the sons of those who afflicted you will come bowing down to you. And all those who despise you will fall prostrate at the sole of your feet. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 15 says, whereas you have been forsaken and hated, so that no one went through you. Nobody wanted to have anything to do with you. Bible says this time around, the glory of the Lord will make you an eternal excellence. In the name of Jesus, you will be the joy of many generations. God will use you, raise you as a solution to the problem of families in your neighborhood. In the name of Jesus, in your place of work. Somebody says, it's my year to shine. Year of reputable glory means our year of shining. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to Jesus. Let me ask somebody, are you ready to shine? Because I'm ready to shine. I'm shining already. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And of course, lastly, I said I will not preach a message this month without reminding you that glory implies wealth. <laughs> That's why I said, God, this talk about wealth is making me afraid, though. Say, we are the people you are going to. We don't have white hair people, uh, gray haired people too much in our church. I, don't, I didn't say we don't have at all, because we have. In fact, the gray hair on one of us, he can go around everybody. <laughs> glory to Jesus. I said, glory to Jesus. If they are selling it, he can go around. Praise the Lord. He said, these very young people are the ones I will position for wealth transfer. Look at it. Repeatedly in Isaiah chapter 60, starting from uh, uh, um, verse 5, the whole of Isaiah chapter 60 will happen because the glory has come. All right? So verse 5, he said, also, verse 5, verse 5, quick. Somebody, let's, can we confess this, personalize it? He said, then I will see and I will become radiant. My heart will swell with joy. Why? Because the abundance of the sea will be turned to me. The wealth of the Gentiles will be converted unto me. Somebody say, I'm ready for it. Say it again, I'm ready for it. Look at verse 9. Verse 9. Surely the coastlands shall wait for me. The ships of Tarshish will come first to bring your sons from afar. It will bring their silver and their gold with them. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. To the name of the Lord your God and to the Holy One of Israel. Why? Because God has what? Glorified. Look at verse 11. Everyone should know verse 11 by heart now. Bible says, therefore your gates shall be opened out. That's 
24-7. That's what it means. Praise the Lord. Why should they be open? Because they, they shall not be shut day nor night, so that men may bring to you the wealth of... It's coming. It's coming. Not Yahoo Yahoo. Not a put a 10 naira and then get 100 million tomorrow. No, not that one. <laughs> That's not the one. I mean, he, Bakulara Kashota Lara Sata. Just one idea like this, the whole world will be running after you. Wealth transfer. Well transfer. Remember where we started? Genesis 45, verse 11. Go and tell my father of my glory in Egypt. Tell him of all that you have seen. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. What worked that well transfer for Joseph? It was the power to get well. He had a skill. What was that skill? Interpretation of dreams. Hallelujah. Just one interpretation of dreams. He became the second richest in the whole wild world. Glory to God. Are you still here? In one of the places, the Bible says, and Joseph gathered all the money that was in Egypt. Still Isaiah chapter 60, verse 13, and then we see verse 16. It's there everywhere. It's there. Isaiah 60, verse 13. Is somebody ready? The glory of Lebanon will come to you. And then he began to name their glory. The cypress, the pine, the box tree together. In those days, Lebanon used to be known for, for wood. Um, what should we call it? Um, Commercial woods that had that had plenty of money. Okay, praise God, the Lord. Woods that could be used for a, to build houses and all that. Are you still here? Are you still here? So, the cypress, the pine, the box tree together, they will come to beautify the place of God's sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Are you ready? Please, can we take note of that? 60, 13. I'll refer to it in a moment of time. Okay, let, let's leave that. So how do you provoke glory? On Wednesday, we said, by wisdom, you have to up your game. You have to, you have to um, um, believe God to charge up your wisdom this year. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35. Hallelujah. The wise is he who will inherit glory. The wise shall inherit glory. Chapter 4, verse 7. The wise, not the fool. The wise. The wise. He said the legacy of, of fools will be shame. That's not your portion. In the name of Jesus. Verse four, chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom. In all you're getting, get understanding. We're going to verse 9. So now, give us verse seven, 8 and then verse 9. Exalt wisdom, she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Verse 9, she will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. Wisdom will deliver to you. Are you still here? This is not Connie Man's wisdom move. Am I communicating? The wisdom of Jehovah. Idea will just come like this. And then you will, you will, there will be some kind of innovation. Praise the Lord. Somebody will do something, some kind of creativity. And then the whole world will turn to you. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 4 verse 36. Our minds must be sharp this year. I like that. She said as her, he said as his wife was going, he called her back. Praise the Lord. Somebody says supernatural intelligence. And then he prophesied. And then the woman left. And then the testimony happened. Praise the Lord. This year you will know things. 
Are you still here? I mean, of massive operations of supernatural intelligence. Your, 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 mental, uh, your mental acuity will multiply several times over. Am I communicating? Look at Daniel 4, 36. At the same time, my reason, this is uh, um, Nebuchadnezzar, okay, when he lost his mind, Bible says he, be, he was reduced, his glory was snatched, uh, was snatched, and he started behaving like an animal. When God will restore him, Bible says, my reason returned to me. Call it my mental acuity, returned to me. And for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and splendor, honor is glory. Splendor is glory, you remember? The Bible says they returned to him. As soon as his reasoning returned, his glory was restored. No foolish thinking in Eston Church this year. No foolish thinking in anybody associated with Eston Church. In the name of Jesus, if somebody has some foolish thinking, as soon as they walk through that door, the spirit of glory will baptize them with wisdom. Glory to God. I said glory to Jesus. People of Jesus, let's up our game. This year you must pick things. Oosh, talarabo sata. You must pick things that, uh, that, that are meant only for you. Things that will cause you, to, that will give you a niche such that nobody will be able to struggle with you. You must pick them this year. Are you still here? It's coming. So wisdom provokes glory. What else provokes glory? Faith. We talked some on it last week. I just want to emphasize this. faith in the word. Faith in the prophetic word. Second Chronicles 2020. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe also his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe this prophetic word. Somebody say believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. And you don't have any doubt, any cause to be doubting it. We saw what happened. Last year was a good example. It was a good reason why you should believe this year. Praise the Lord. Last year, as soon as it was declared, year of new things, COVID set in. So I asked God, I said, ah! In fact, somebody made, made, a, made a, a fun. A, a, a friend of mine, I was telling him what happened. He said, he said, so I said, I just declared year of new things. And then COVID started. He said, man of God, you are right now. COVID is a new thing. I said, no, that's not the kind of COVID new thing I'm talking about. <laughs> Praise the Lord. COVID set in. It looked as if nothing will happen. But correct me if I'm wrong. Last year is the year since the inception of this church that we had the highest number of weddings. Am I, am I right on that, man? So I complained. I said, God, what, what, what's this? He said, keep telling them to hold on to it. COVID or no COVID, I would do new things. And I remember when she helped us construct that, that confession, she put it there. New marriages, new projects, new homes. Somebody remembers that confession. Another confession is coming after this series. Am I communicating? You must chew that confession. You must breathe it. You must use it to bath. Glory to God. Believe the prophetic word. Somebody said, believe the prophetic word. Why should you believe it? Isaiah 44 verse 26. Isaiah 44 26. Bible says that God confirms the words of his servants and he performs the counsels of his messengers. He confirms the words of his servants and he performs the counsel of his messengers. Praise the Lord. Because in the first place, the word of his servant is his word. I can't remember how many days it was to the end of 31st. We're having pastor's meeting. Yeah, 31st was, uh, was it uh, Tuesday night? Thursday night. So we're having pastor's meeting on Sunday. And then, something, somebody asked about making the billboard. So Bishop Son said, uh, 
pastor can tell you now, usually he doesn't wait till the end of the year. God would have spoken to him. He can, would, so he must know the word now. So I said, Bishop, I don't have it already. You remember? So uh, yeah, it's not, uh, you, it's not gimmick. <laughs> if he hasn't spoken, he hasn't spoken. And between then and, and that day, I think it was on Tuesday, I just woke up and Genesis 43, 45, 13 hit me. Bah! Praise God. This year, my glory is coming and it will be reportable. It will be spectacular. It will be someone that is seen. Praise the Lord. God wants to use the word about reputable glory to change your life. Don't doubt it. Don't try to negotiate it. Praise the Lord. Just believe it. Believe it. Believing the prophetic word matters. Remember that Second Chronicles 20. It said, believe the Lord your God and you'll be established. Do you need also to believe the word of his prophets? Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. And I think I can, I, I can say that this morning because my mentor prophet is in the house. Hallelujah. Am I communicating? Believe the word of these prophets. Hallelujah. Somebody still here. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. The Lord will do nothing, but he will first reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. So God has told you what he wants to do. That sticker, year of reputable glory. Thank you. Bro, can we celebrate Brother Agidi? I saw him. Where is it? I see him somewhere in the service. Let's make some stickers for us. I think we should make him make more. Praise the Lord. I already have one in my office. Year of reputable glory. Put it where you can continually see it. In those days, we'll put it on our Bible. He reigns. We're in Christ Chapel that time. And our sticker was he reigns. Very yellow, very, very, pro, very, very pronounced and big like you. Once you raise your Bible, you, they, know, you, you know your, they know your God reigns. Praise the Lord. I'm not saying you should put it in your Bible. Besides, you don't use Bible again. You use, you use a by phone. <laughs> All of us, not only you. Praise the Lord. But put it where you say it. Are you still here or you have gone home? Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. Another reason why you should believe the word. Quickly. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. He said by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, Israel was preserved. Bradelia has come here to share many testimonies. And there's something peculiar. Him and Pastor Aiti share plenty of testimonies concerning the prophetic words that go on here. Others here, but these two particular. And there's something peculiar that two of them do. Baldele came to me one day, and then he brought out his phone. You remember you said this. It was inside his phone. This, these are things happening, coming from like last year or the one year and a half years ago. I said, I don't remember. He said, you said it. Then you remember you said this one. I said, I remember this one. <laughs> and then you said, you remember you said this one. And he's sharing the testimonies. Praise the Lord. He's sharing the testimonies. Somebody is a woman. A woman, not a man. He, he told him, go and do your, 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 your postgraduate. It will cost seven million. The money is ready whenever you are ready. In, in fact, he, he said, the woman said, because he said, I'm not ready. Maybe it will take middle of next year. He said, no problem. Should I send the money so that you can keep it in your account? That sponsorship is under, is under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. I've never heard that in my life. Should I send you the 7 million so that you can keep it? <laughs> is it tell her no. Tell her. Oh, hold on to it. Are you still here? Take the prophetic words seriously. Am I communicating? Both the ones that God has spoken to us corporately and the ones that he speaks to you as an individual. Hmm? Those are the matching words. God doesn't just do things anyhow. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. God will only send the words concerning what he wants to do. Praise the Lord. 
So faith in the spoken word or in the prophetic word, it's important. How else do you provoke it? Sacrifices. Sacrifices. Can we see Levit Leviticus chapter 9, verse 5 to 6? Leviticus chapter 9, verse 5 to 6. Glory to Jesus. So they brought what Moses commanded. Moses had commanded something, so they brought it. Somebody said they brought it. Before the tabernacle of the meeting. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. Verse 6. Then Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded you to do. And the glory of the Lord will appear to you. So between obedience and sacrifice there. God asks you to do something. Do it. Praise the Lord. See another scripture that will corroborate that. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 1 to 2. This one to two, sorry. This year, and uh, make sure you 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 include in your budget some heavy duty sacrifices. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? When Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the bond of prince and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord. Feel the temple. Are you still here? The glory of the Lord. Feel the temple. Sacrifices. And then lastly, avoid glory killers. Avoid glory snatchers. This year, while working to provoke the glory. Make sure you avoid glory dissipators, glory snatchers, glory lifters, things that cover people's glory. What are they? Number one, sin, iniquities. Hosea chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. Iniquities. Live as a child of God, they say. The only way the devil can stop the glory from showing forth in the dimension in which God has spoken is by luring you into iniquities. The more they increased, the more they sinned against me, therefore I will change their glory. into shame. Sin changes glory into shame. Praise the Lord. Are you still here? If you're a young man here, you are going out, you have a steady... Uh, a girlfriend, somebody you are espoused to, to get married, listen to me. Instead of doing Ihe and Jijale, tasting what you should not be tasting, just tell a couple of persons on either side of the family and tell us and get married. All that Ihe and Jijale, it corrupts the glory. It does. Are you still here? That's you, your body can't wait again. Everything just do, 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 do. <laughs> I heard one time that in one in uh, uh, somewhere uh, in uh, one of the states in the east, how that they even have an arrangement in Akwaibo actually that you can take a wife. Maybe if they give you the list, everything will cost you like seven hundred thousand and you don't have 700,000, you can do the little one you have, praise God, and then take the wife home. The wife has become your own, and then you'll be paying the rest of the money in arrears. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Instrument payment. <laughs> yes. Eh? They still do it. They do it in Igbo land too. I didn't know. I'm not sure the Yorubas do it. Yoruba. Oh my son, Penny. What's that? I want to get back to Sir, if that is what you should do, do it. And 
then come here. Even my, in our office, we can, that office is too big to do a wedding. Too big, sir. Make sure you call for Labi the photo. He's the one who will take the picture. They will think that you use the event center in Ikoyu to do it. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Iniquities corrupt glory. Yes, it does. Let nobody tell you it doesn't matter. These things corrupt glory. It covers your shine. What else corrupts glory, covers the shine of glory? Pride. Daniel 5.20. Daniel 5.20. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Are you still here? Daniel 5.20. But when his heart was lifted up and his spirit was adding in pride he was deposed you will not be deposed from his kingly throne you will not be deposed from your throne in the name of Jesus and they took his glory from him somebody say not my portion Stop stealing. It, this one just came to me and I must say, stop stealing from your boss. You sell 20 naira, you keep 5 naira. That's a glory stealer. Yes. It's a very, it's a very powerful spiritual principle. The meaning is you can never build a business that like that. Your own business can never grow as big as that one. Never. Yes, that's what it means. Pride. God brought you here so that people can talk to you and help you. Stop priding. Sako says he's doing gali gali. Stop doing gali gali. Praise the Lord. This is the way. Go ye in it. Do it. Am I communicating? Are you blessed this morning? Are you sure you are blessed? Is somebody expectant for glory? Are you sure? Now I'm going to give you 10 minutes or thereabout to use your mouth to announce the level and the intensity and the depth of glory that you're expecting this year. Are you ready for it? Stand to your feet. Grab your Isaiah chapter 60. 